roll out to wherever the Geth are bunkered? Check in with Fidan, but I think we're done here. Tower secure. Thanks to you, Commander. I'm just glad your colony is safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Tell me what the Geth want. Why are they attacking you? If you want answers, go ask them yourselves. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. Every Geth I kill brings me one step closer to Saren. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. What can you tell me about the defenses the Geth have set up? I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Expect a hard fight. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Arcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. Is there anything I can do to solve your water shortage? Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you have any insight to offer, please speak with her. What's wrong with the colony's power supply? May O'Connell is working on our power problems. She'd know more about it than I do. You mentioned something about a food shortage. Davin Reynolds is tasked with securing food for the immediate future. If you can assist, please speak with him. Do you have information about Geth in the lower tunnels? Nothing new. They're in the tunnel somewhere, likely guarding a transmitter to coordinate attacks. It's not a critical threat right now, but getting rid of that transmitter will help us defend against further attacks. Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. Tell me about your colony. Life is hard and often brutal, even without our current problems. Colonial Affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place, unlike anything I've experienced before. How big was the original Pharaoh's colony? We were nearly a thousand at the main site, 200 more at my outpost. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zeus Hope. The Normandy isn't huge, but we could airlift you out. The Geth fighters are too dangerous, and I won't be driven off this world. It is our home. There's a chance for growth here that's simply not available on other worlds. What else can you tell me about Exogeny? Exogeny funded this colony. Without them, we wouldn't be stuck here. They specialize in colonization. In return for bankrolling the colony, we work for them. Their main goal is the retrieval of valuable artifacts or resources. Except there isn't anything here. Or if there is, we didn't find it. I wonder if that's what the Geth are looking for. Perhaps. As she said, we never found anything of value. Of course, the Geth could know something we don't. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander.
to stop thinking about the past. You'll have to forgive my wife. Kalantha's not in her right mind. She just needs to relax and accept what's happened. What do you do for the colony? I'm a medic. Or I am since the doctor died. I've tried my best since she was killed. Do you know anything about this planet? Just what I was told by Colonial Affairs. It's a little different from what they claimed. It's not all bad, though. When the Geth are gone, we'll have a chance to create something even more spectacular than before. What happened to your wife? The constant attacks have strained us all. She'll adapt. We all have. Is there anything I can do for her? No, she just needs time. Time to absorb everything. We'll be fine. Tell me about the colony. I can't tell you much about that. You'd best ask Fidan if you really must know. Why can't you tell me? I just want to know about the colony. Fidan is our leader. Who better to answer questions about the colony? I have to go. Please do what you can to stop the attacks. Biotics is the ability of rare individuals to manipulate dark energy and create mass effect fields through the use of electrical impulses from the brain. Intense training and surgically implanted amplifiers are necessary for a biotic to produce mass effect fields powerful enough for practical use. The relative strength of biotic abilities varies greatly among species and with each individual. There are three branches of biotics. Telekinesis uses mass lowering fields to levitate or impel objects. Mass raising kinetic fields are used to block or pin objects. Spatial distortion uses rapidly shifting mass fields to shred objects. Most organic species are capable of developing biotic abilities, though there are risks involved. Biotics are the result of an in utero exposure to element zero. This usually causes fatal cancers in the victim, but in rare cases, it coalesces into nodules within the fetus's developing nervous system. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. Tell me about Zeus Hope. The colony is growing. Or it was. But you should speak with Fidan. He is our leader. Why should I speak to Fidan? 
Why can't you tell me? I don't want to talk about that right now. Speak with Fai Dan. Tell me about yourself. What's to tell? I came here with my wife Greta, looking for adventure. A new life together. This isn't exactly what we signed up for. Of course, it would be much better without the Geth. We were really starting to enjoy the colony before they came. Tell me about hunting Varen. Hunting them is impossible while fending off the Geth. On the positive side, they'll attack anything, even those damn synthetics. The big Alpha Varen is the real problem. He's mad, erratic, completely unpredictable. I have a ship. I could bring in supplies from off-world. I'd rather you concentrated on the Geth. Food won't help us if they breach our defenses. I have to go. So long. After the Geth sec Varan are omnivores, with a preference for living prey. Originally native to the Krogan homeworld of Tuchanka, they are, like most life from Tuchanka, savage, clannish, and consummate survivors. They are pack hunters when vulnerable prey is readily available, and become scavengers when outnumbered or outclassed. Their supreme adaptability, vicious demeanor, and rapid breeding cycle have made them ubiquitous and dangerous pests on many worlds. Virtually everywhere the Krogan have been, Varan infestations have followed, wreaking havoc with the native ecology. The Krogan have had a love-hate relationship with Varan for millennia, alternately fighting them for territory and embracing them as treasured companions. To this day, Krogan raise them as beasts of war, one of the common subgenus of Varan has metallic silver scales, leading to the rather unusual nickname, Fish Dogs. <laughs>